Greetings, my name is Mary Ann Krogh and I serve as the Dean of the College of Nursing at South Dakota State University. On behalf of the students, faculty, and staff of the College of Nursing, I want to welcome you to our pinning and hooding ceremony celebrating our students graduating this semester. While we certainly wish we were gathered together to recognize the hard work and accomplishments of each of these students, we are glad that we are able to come together virtually to celebrate. Founded in 1881 as the state's Morrill Act land-grant institution, South Dakota State University improves the quality of life through exemplary teaching, relevant research, and connected outreach. South Dakota State University is located on the ancestral territory of the Ocheti Shakowin, or Seven Council Fires, an alliance that consisted of the Santee, Yankton, and Teton Lakota. They are commonly known as the Sioux by non-native people. The seven tribes now occupy nine different reservations in South Dakota. The nine reservations are Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe, Crow Creek Sioux Tribe, Flandreau Santee Sioux Tribe, Lower Brule Sioux Tribe, Oglala Sioux Tribe, Rosebud Sioux Tribe, Sisseton Wapaton Ayate, Standing Rock Sioux Tribe, and the Yankton Sioux Tribe. This serves as a reminder that before this site was called SDSU, it was home to Native nations indigenous to this location. Graduates, I want you to think back to the beginning of this semester. You probably were thinking things like, finally, my last semester, I'm on the home stretch, or I can't wait to start my career. None of us imagined that we'd finish these final semesters during a pandemic. I do have to say though, that I've never had more admiration for a group of students. You all rose to the challenges placed before you with a rapid shift to online learning from home, overcoming the intricacies of virtual clinical simulation, and navigating the myriad of obstacles thrown in your way throughout the past few semesters. Because of all this, I know you will all be great nurses, educators, administrators, and clinicians. All of these roles require response to rapidly changing priorities, resilience, and flexibility, all characteristics you have demonstrated admirably. So today, I congratulate you on your many accomplishments and wish you well as you go into the world as proud SDSU alumni. During our ceremony, we will recognize College of Nursing graduates who will receive one of four types of degrees, the Doctor of Philosophy, the Doctor of Nursing Practice, the Master of Science, and the Bachelor of Science. Our graduate programs were established to allow bachelor's prepared nurses to pursue advanced educational degrees at the master's and doctoral levels. Doctoral and master's graduates receive a hood to acknowledge their degree completion. The Doctor of Nursing Practice, the DMP program, was initiated in 2009 as the terminal degree for advanced practice nursing. The DNP degree equips graduates with the skills and competencies needed for translating evidence into practice innovation, for improving systems of care, and for measuring patient outcomes in clinic, hospital, and community care settings. DMP graduates are engaged in clinical practice, leadership, healthcare policy advocacy, and scholarship. The Doctorally Prepared Advanced Practice Registered Nurse, or APRN, significantly impacts healthcare outcomes for both urban and rural residents. Our fall 2020 DMP graduate has completed coursework to prepare her in the family nurse practitioner specialty. Dr. Angela Yates Wyckoff received her bachelor in nursing from University of Iowa. Her committee chair is Dr. Brandy Prevacek and her DMP project title is Implementing Diabetic Clinical Practice Guidelines, a practice change in a long-term care setting. SDSU College of Nursing graduates who have completed the requirements for the Master of Science degree 
have chosen to specialize as a nurse educator, nurse administrator, clinical nurse leader, or family nurse practitioner. These graduates provide leadership in applying advanced knowledge to impact healthcare delivery and improve patient outcomes through their roles in clinical practice, education, and administration. Sarah Baer received her bachelor's in nursing from South Dakota State University. Her master's specialization is nurse administrator. Her faculty advisor is Dr. Karen Emery. And Sarah would like to thank her dad, Michael, her partner, Randall, her children, and her sister, Jessica, for their support and encouragement while completing her degree. Sarah is employed as a performance improvement coordinator with the United States Public Health Service in Arlington, Virginia. Jonathan Benson received his bachelor's in nursing from South Dakota State University. His master's specialization is nurse educator and his master's thesis title is examining instructional methods in end of life nursing education, lecture versus simulation. His faculty advisor is Dr. Leanne Horsley. Megan Kuypers received her bachelor's in nursing from Augustana University. Master's specialization is nurse educator. Her faculty advisor is Dr. Heidi Meninga. Megan looks forward to starting her career as an instructor of nursing in the nursing program at Augustana University. Kayla Pavel received her bachelor in nursing from Mount Marty University. Master's specialization is nurse educator and her faculty advisor is Dr. Heidi Meninga. Kayla would like to thank her family, friends, and coworkers for their help and support while completing her degree. She is continuing her work with the federal prison system and will be implementing health-related reentry classes for inmates. Raju Sanju received her bachelor's in nursing from South Dakota State University. Master's specialization is nurse administrator and her faculty advisor is Dr. Karen Emery. Raju would like to thank her husband who supported her in each step of the way to complete her degree. It wouldn't have been possible to achieve this degree without his enormous support and her family's continuous encouragement. Ranju is employed with Finger Lakes Health in Geneva, New York. Jennifer Thiessen received her Bachelor in Nursing from South Dakota State University. Master specialization is Nurse Administrator and her faculty advisor is Dr. Karen Emery. Jennifer would like to thank her family, mentors, and friends for their support while pursuing her degree. Jennifer is employed as a clinical quality partner with Avera Health at Avera at Home. Brittany Van Iperen received her Bachelor in Nursing from Augustana University. Her master's specialization is nurse educator, and her faculty advisor is Dr. Heidi Menega. Brittany would like to give her sincere thanks to her family and friends for their support while completing her degree. She's excited to start the next chapter in her life as a nurse educator and is currently seeking employment in the Sioux Falls area. Anna Walraven received her Bachelor in Nursing from South Dakota State University. Her master's specialization is nurse educator and her faculty advisor is Dr. Heidi Menega. Anna would like to thank her husband, Dustin, and children Leo and Lily, as well as her entire family who have provided support, forgiveness, and love on this journey. And Anna is employed with the Innovative Pain and Procedural Center in Watertown, South Dakota. Anna has received the Outstanding Graduate Nursing Student Award for Fall 2020, which was determined by a graduate faculty vote. Congratulations, Anna. Congratulations to all of our graduate students for their hard work and accomplishments. As we move into the next portion of our program, we will recognize students who have completed the requirements to earn their bachelor's degree in nursing and have received their nursing pin. The pin is an important symbol to nurses. No two schools have the same pin. Wearing it will distinguish you as graduates of the College of Nursing at South Dakota State University. The Bachelor of Science in Nursing was first offered in 1935 as a post-licensure program for graduates of hospital-based diploma programs and over time has evolved to include a number of options 
for students to earn a Bachelor of Science degree. Students receiving their nursing pins have completed the requirements for a Bachelor of Science degree by completing coursework as part of our online RN to BSN program, the accelerated program option, or our standard option. The RN to BSN program at SDSU, formerly known as RN Upward Mobility, was established in 1977 and in 2001 became the first baccalaureate degree completion program offered at SDSU. The RNs in the program have earned a diploma or an associate's degree in nursing or licensed practicing RNs who have completed the requirements for the Bachelor of Science with major in nursing. Jordan Hansen. Jordan would like to thank her husband, Derek, and her daughter, Piper, for their support while completing her bachelor's degree. Jordan is employed with JBS in Marshalltown, Iowa in occupational medicine. Please join me in congratulating our RN to BSN graduate. The next group of graduates have completed coursework as part of the Accelerated Nursing Program. The Accelerated Program, also known as NAC, was established in 2002 and expanded to our Aberdeen location in 2012. Graduates of the program held a prior bachelor's degree in a field outside of nursing and have completed the nursing major coursework, hands-on simulation, and clinical experience in 12 months. Miranda Becking. Miranda would like to thank her family, Travis, and most importantly, her children for their support, love, and patience while completing the nursing program. Miranda has accepted a position at Avera St. Luke's Hospital in Aberdeen, South Dakota on the Medical Surgical Pediatrics Unit. Sierra Bivens. Sierra would like to thank her wonderful family, friends, preceptors, fellow students and instructors that have prayed, supported, and loved her throughout the Accelerated Nursing Program. Sierra is pursuing a position in the operating room or emergency department in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Mia Casas. Mia would like to thank her family and friends for their support this year. Mia has accepted a position in the emergency department at Adventist Health in Bakersfield, California. Mia would like to dedicate this degree to her grandmother, Aurora Martinez, who passed away in July. Madison DeYoung. Madison would like to thank her family and friends for their continuous support while pursuing her dreams and nursing. Madison has accepted a position with Sanford Health Hospital in Sioux Falls, South Dakota in the Travel Nurse Enterprise Central Resource Pool. Stephanie Denny. Stephanie would like to thank her husband, family, and friends for their support over the past year and would like to congratulate her fellow classmates. Stephanie is pursuing a position in the emergency department or ICU in the state of Montana. Avery Dickey. Avery would like to thank her family and friends for their support while completing the nursing major. Avery is pursuing a position in pediatrics in the metropolitan Minneapolis area. Austin SP. Austin would like to thank his family and friends for all their help. A special thanks to the love of his life, Heather, for her support and encouragement throughout the program. Austin plans to continue his education by becoming a DNP and continuing his research on medicinal plants and dietary strategies. He has accepted a position at Sanford Health in Sioux Falls, South Dakota as a travel nurse. Emma Frizzle. Emma would like to thank her parents, fiance, family, and friends for all their love and support throughout the program. Emma is pursuing a position in the emergency department at the University of Nebraska Medical Center in Omaha, Nebraska. Taylor Halverson. Taylor would like to thank her family and friends for all their support while completing the nursing program. Taylor plans to work on the brain and spine unit at Avera McKinnon in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Jessica Hollinsworth. Jessica would like to thank her family and friends, including her late grandparents, 
for helping her push through the accelerated nursing program to further her pursuit of a career in healthcare. Jessica has accepted a position in the surgical unit at Avera McKinnon in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Jessica is the recipient of the Mary Adams Award for the Aberdeen site. Congratulations, Jessica. Kira Holtzlander. Kira would like to thank her family and friends for all their encouragement throughout the program. She is extremely grateful to have such a supportive team. Kira is pursuing a position on a medical surgical unit in Northern California. Emily Johns. Emily would like to thank her family, friends, and faculty for supporting her journey through nursing school. Emily is pursuing a nursing position in the state of South Dakota. Krishid Kurbanoff. Krishid would like to thank his wife, Sabrina, children, friends, and the Aberdeen faculty for their support during this year. Above all, he would like to thank God for giving him the opportunity to see his dreams come to reality. Krishid has accepted a position in the Neuro ICU at the University of Wisconsin Health System in Madison, Wisconsin. Erica Levesque. Erica would like to endlessly thank her parents, husband, extended family, friends, and instructors for their unwavering support throughout the last year while completing her nursing degree. Erica is pursuing a position in the ICU or emergency department in Anchorage, Alaska. Lily Miller. Lily would like to thank her family and friends for their continuing support while completing the accelerated nursing program. She is pursuing a position in orthopedics with Monument Health in Rapid City, South Dakota. Erin Owen. Erin would like to thank her family, friends, and classmates for encouraging her throughout nursing school. Erin has accepted a position at Avera McKinnon in Sioux Falls, South Dakota on the cardiopulmonary unit. Rachel Peterson. Rachel would like to thank her family and friends for all their support throughout her nursing school journey. Rachel is pursuing a position in the critical care field in Reno, Nevada. Cody Patasic. Cody is pursuing a rural nursing position in North Dakota. Morgan Rolfs. Morgan would like to thank her friends and family for their constant love and support throughout the nursing program. Without them, she would not have remained sane. Morgan recently commissioned as a second lieutenant in the United States Army. Upon graduation, she will start her military career as an Army nurse. Catherine Sheffert. Catherine would like to thank her friends and family for their support during this program. She is pursuing a nursing position in North Dakota. Joanna Schrobo. Joanna would like to thank her husband, Mike, as well as her incredibly supportive friends and family. She is pursuing an ICU position in Denver, Colorado. Zyandra Schroeder. Zyandra would like to thank her friends and family for their continued support and love. She is pursuing a position in the neonatal intensive care unit at Samford Health in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Latoya Shirley. Latoya would like to thank her family and friends for their encouragement and support while completing this nursing major. She is pursuing a position in Chamberlain, South Dakota. Jennifer Smith. Jennifer would like to thank her husband and children for their support and encouragement during nursing school. She would also like to thank her in-laws and parents for helping feed her family and overseeing her children's education while she was away at school. Jennifer is pursuing a position in Intermountain Healthcare System in her home state of Utah. Cassandra Soriano. Cassandra would like to thank her family and friends for their support while completing the nursing major. She has accepted a position at Sanford Health in Aberdeen, South Dakota. Michelle Stillwell. Michelle would like to thank her family, friends, classmates, instructors, clinical mentors, and God for their unending support in finishing the nursing program. She has accepted a position at Sanford Health in Sioux Falls, South Dakota on the Medical Surgical Traveling Nurse Unit. Ryan Sullivan. 
Ryan would like to thank his family for their support and being in his corner no matter what. He would also like to thank his roommate, Jessica, for keeping him on track and reminding him to turn in assignments. Ryan has accepted a position in the emergency department at Monument Health in Rapid City, South Dakota. Jamie Tomich. Jamie would like to thank her family and friends for supporting her throughout this journey. She is pursuing a position in pediatrics or medical surgical in the Los Angeles metropolitan area. Darian Watson. Darian would like to thank her family and friends for their love and support while completing her nursing degree. She has accepted a position in the Medical Surgical Pediatric Unit at Avera St. Luke's in Aberdeen, South Dakota. Mikkel Ziegler. Mikkel would like to thank her fiance Bryce, her mother Amy, as well as additional family and friends that have supported her throughout this past year. Mikkel has accepted a position on the Brain and Spinal Unit at Avera McKinnon in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Congratulations to all our Accelerated Option graduates. The traditional Bachelor of Science program was established in 1952. Students in this program have completed an undergraduate degree built on a strong foundation of prerequisite coursework in arts and sciences, followed by five semesters of nursing coursework with hands-on simulation and clinical experiences. This group of graduates has completed the standard option Bachelor of Science program at our Brookings site. Josie Asby. Josie would like to thank her family for their support throughout her college years. She would also like to thank her friends and the SDSU rodeo team for all of the fun memories. Josie has accepted a position at Avera St. Mary's Hospital in Pierre, South Dakota in the Med Surge Peds Unit. Anthony and Dara. Anthony would like to thank his family and the friends he has made throughout nursing school for the support that got him to this moment. Following graduation, Anthony will be working with the Fellowship of Catholic University Students as a Catholic mission worker. Brianna Benjamin. Brianna would like to thank her family for the continuous love and support through this hard but rewarding journey of nursing school. Brianna could not have done it without them. Brianna has accepted a position on the surgical trauma floor at Avera McKinnon Hospital in Sioux Falls. Julia Bowers. Julia would like to thank her friends and family for all of their support through this adventure. She also wants to wish her classmates the best of luck in their futures. Julia has accepted a position in the brain and spine unit at Avera McKinnon. Ashley Braun. Ashley would like to thank her parents, friends, and boyfriend Brody for all of their love and support throughout her college career. She is so excited for this next step in her life and can't wait to get started working as a registered nurse. Jacob Burton. Jacob would like to thank his family for their unending support and his fellow male nursing students for always making him laugh. He would also like to thank his fiance, Jenna, for being a constant motivator and for making pharmacology fun to study. Jacob has accepted a position at Sanford Health in Sioux Falls in the emergency department. Cordell Buick. Cordell would like to thank his family, friends, and the nurses in his class. Cordell has accepted a job with the United Healthcare in St. Paul. He will be working in the critical care float pool. Catherine Kennedy. Katie would like to thank her friends and family for their continued love and support while completing the nursing program. Katie is excited to start her nursing career with Coteau des Prairies Hospital in Sisseton. Baylor Dobbs. Baylor would like to thank his family for all of their support and also his cohort for being excellent friends and classmates. Following graduation, Baylor will be working at Sanford Health in the emergency department. Elizabeth Doom. Elizabeth would like to thank her family and friends for their support while completing the nursing major. Zachary Dorgan. Zachary would like to thank his wife, Emma, for her love and support. Zach would also like to thank all of his friends, nursing faculty, and athletic coaching staff that help provide guidance and support to him. Lastly, Zachary has to give a shout out of thanks and love to the Merces. 
Zachary will be working at the Avera McKinnon Hospital in Sioux Falls in the cardiovascular pulmonary unit. Lindsay Effling. Lindsay's biggest thanks goes to her mother, who has set an extraordinary example of what a hardworking, motivated, and compassionate woman can accomplish. Lindsay would like to remember her grandma, Shirley, who encouraged her throughout her nursing degree. Lindsay is excited to start her nursing career at the birthplace in Sioux Falls at Sanford. Rory Forrest. Rory would like to thank his family for their support and of course, the Merce boys for making nursing school so enjoyable. Rory says, let us commence. Following graduation, Rory will be working in the cardiopulmonary unit at Avera McKinnon in Sioux Falls. Kate Gillette. Kate would like to thank her family, friends, and study buddies for their support throughout nursing school. Kate has accepted a position in the inpatient rehab unit of Sanford Health in Sioux Falls. Mackenzie Glagy. Mackenzie is extremely thankful for the support her friends and family gave her throughout nursing school and is excited to see where this career takes her. Following graduation, Mackenzie will be working in the NICU at Sanford Health in Sioux Falls. Brooklyn Gober. Brooklyn would love to thank her family, friends, and fiance for their positive and wonderful support during these past four years. Brooklyn is hoping to get a job in labor and delivery, either in Pella, Iowa, or Des Moines, Iowa. Brian Gusick. Brian would like to thank his family, friends, classmates, and Merce brothers for their support and motivation through both attempts at pharmacology. Brian has accepted a position with the United States Air Force at Travis Air Force Base in Fairfield, California. Maisie Helt. Maisie would like to thank the Mets and Helt families, along with her preceptors, for their motivation and support while completing the nursing major. Maisie will be working at Sanford Health in Sioux Falls. Natasha Hess. Natasha would like to thank her family and friends for constantly supporting her throughout her time in the nursing program and for encouraging her to seek out opportunities to learn. She also wants to wish everyone in the graduating cohort a big congratulations. Natasha has accepted a position at the birthplace at Sanford Medical Center in Bismarck, North Dakota. Nicole Hepner. Nicole is grateful for the unconditional love and support from her family and friends during her college experience. Special thanks to her mother, Kim, who is her RN role model. Chloe Holtz. Chloe would like to thank her family and friends for their support while completing the nursing major. Following graduation, Chloe will be working in the neuroscience unit at the University of Nebraska Medical Center in Omaha, Nebraska. Mackenzie Huber. Mackenzie would like to thank her family and friends for supporting her through the nursing major. Mackenzie has accepted a position at Avera St. Luke's Hospital in Aberdeen, South Dakota in the Med Surge Peds unit. Savannah Huber. Savannah would like to thank her friends, family, and SDSU nursing staff for their support while completing the nursing major. Savannah will be working in the float pool unit of the University of Kansas Health System in Kansas City, Missouri. Jenna Jago. Jenna would like to thank her family and friends for their unconditional support during her completion of the nursing program. Following graduation, Jenna will begin her nursing career at Sanford USD Medical Center as a medical surgical float while cross-training to the ER and ICU. She is excited to broaden her experience and knowledge. Laura Johnson. Laura would like to thank her mom, dad, and sister for their support. It is the Lord that carried her through when she couldn't carry herself. Laura has accepted a position in the heart and vascular unit at Monument Health in Rapid City. Laura has been awarded the Outstanding Rural Nurse Fellow Award for Brookings. Congratulations, Laura. Madison Jones. Madison would like to thank her family and specifically acknowledge her mother who has been her greatest support and who is now looking down upon her from heaven. 
Madison has accepted a position in the ICU RN unit of Mercy One Hospital in Sioux City, Iowa. Tram Kim. Tram would like to thank her family and friends for their support. Especially, she would like to thank her husband for supporting and motivating her throughout the nursing school. Tram will be seeking employment in Brookings area. Laura Cosberg. Laura would like to thank her family and friends for their support and encouragement while completing the nursing major. Kylie Kirchel. Kylie would like to thank her family and friends for their continuous love and support while completing the nursing program. Kylie has accepted a position at Sanford in Sioux Falls in the surgical cardiovascular unit. Maggie Cruz. Maggie would like to give a huge thanks to her family, friends, and classmates for the continuous love and support while completing her nursing degree. Maggie's first job as an RN will be in the Medical Surgical Critical Care Unit at Sanford Worthington Medical Center. Connor Lang. Connor would like to thank his friends, classmates, and family for their support throughout the nursing program. Connor has accepted a job with the United Healthcare in St. Paul. He will be working in the telemetry float pool. Ivy Mann Diet. Ivy would like to thank her family and friends for their support while completing the nursing major. She would like to especially thank her parents, Dan and Jennifer, for their support and for pushing her to accomplish all her goals. She has not accepted a position anywhere, but is looking at some job opportunities in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Annie McCabe. Annie would like to thank her friends and family for supporting her throughout her time in the nursing program and is excited for her future at University of Nebraska Medical Center in Omaha, Nebraska in the trauma unit. Nicole Meter. Nicole would like to thank her family and friends for their support while completing the nursing major. Following graduation, Nicole will be working in the ICU at Avera McKinnon Hospital in University Center in Sioux Falls. Laura Mildenstein. Laura would like to thank her family and friends for their support while completing the nursing major. Laura has accepted a position in the Sanford 2000 Surgical Cardiovascular Unit in Sioux Falls. Katrina Miller. Katrina would like to thank her family for all of their support. She is grateful for the opportunity to do what she loves and provide for her family. Taylor Morgan. Taylor would like to thank her family, friends, and classmates for their encouragement and support over the years while completing her nursing major. Taylor has accepted a position at Avera McKinnon in Sioux Falls in the Oncology and Transplant Unit. Ladislav Nemechek. Alex would like to thank his family, professors, the nursing college staff, and fellow peers for motivating him throughout all these years. Alex has accepted a position in the oncology unit at the Nebraska Medical Center in Omaha, Nebraska. Carly O'Keefe. Carly would like to thank her family and friends for consistent support throughout her college career as well as her amazing instructors for their guidance in the best nursing class there will ever be. She misses seeing her classmates every day and knows they are all going to have a bright future ahead of them. Carly has accepted a position in the labor and delivery unit of Nebraska Medicine in Omaha, Nebraska. Faith Olivier. Faith is so grateful for family and friends helping and supporting her through nursing school. She is thankful for her time at SDSU and cannot wait to start her nursing career. Following graduation, Faith will be working in the neurology unit of Avera McKinnon in Sioux Falls. Kelsey Ryerson. Kelsey would like to thank her friends and family. She couldn't have completed nursing school without their support and encouragement. Kelsey has accepted a position with the Department of Health with the South Dakota State Penitentiary in Sioux Falls. Camden Roman. Camden would like to wholeheartedly express thanks to her family and friends for the constant support and endless encouragement in pursuing her career as a registered nurse. 
Nicole Schimmick. Nicole would like to thank her family and friends for their loving support while completing the nursing program. Nicole will be working in the adult B unit at Avera Behavioral Health Center in Sioux Falls following graduation. Brittany Schmidt. Brittany wants to thank her family and friends for all of their support over the years and cannot wait to begin her career as a nurse. Brittany has accepted a position on the medical surgical unit at Avera St. Mary's Hospital in Pierre, South Dakota. Emily Schmitz. Emily would like to thank her family, friends, her boyfriend Jacob, and his family for the continuous support, the constant love, and for always believing in her throughout her nursing journey. Emily will be working in the cardiology unit at Sanford in Sioux Falls. Dana Schrader. Dana is excited to begin her journey as a registered nurse in the NICU at Sanford Hospital. The support and love shown by her family and friends throughout this journey will forever be remembered and appreciated. Go Jax! Riley Selberg. Riley would like to thank her family and fiance for their continued support, her professors for all the knowledge they taught, and all who have encouraged her along the way. Riley will be working in the child and adolescent unit of Avera Behavioral Health in Sioux Falls following graduation. Allie Scadam. Allie would like to thank her mom, family, and friends for their continuous love, support, and guidance throughout her nursing school journey. She is excited to begin her nursing career and can't wait to see where it leads her. Jenna Stoutland. Jenna would like to thank her family for their encouragement while completing the nursing major, fiance Jacob for getting her through pharmacology with a sense of humor intact, and the program for giving her the man of her dreams. Jenna has accepted a position in the emergency department at Sanford Health in Sioux Falls. Christina would like to thank her knowledgeable professors, helpful advisors, caring family, and faithful friends for their support and guidance while attending South Dakota State University's Extraordinary Nursing Program. Brianna Swee. Bree would like to thank all of her friends and family who supported her throughout the nursing program. Following graduation, Bree will be working in the orthopedics unit at Avera in Sioux Falls. Allison Swenson. Allie wants to thank her family, Jim, Carrie, Kelly, Maddie, Kerrigan, and Beckett, fiance Ben, and all of her friends for their unending support and motivation. She couldn't have done it without you all. Taylor Telford. Taylor would like to thank her friends and family for their continued support throughout her time at SDSU. She is thankful for the friendships and opportunities that the nursing program has given her. Taylor has accepted a position at Avera McKinnon in Sioux Falls in the cardiopulmonary unit. Brooklyn Tater. Brooklyn would like to thank her family, friends, and coworkers for the continuous support and encouragement while completing the nursing major. Following graduation, Brooklyn will be working in the surgical cardiovascular and surgical renal units at Sanford and Sioux Falls. Tabitha Townsend. Tabitha would like to thank her family and friends for their support throughout nursing school. She is grateful for their endless encouragement and loving prayers. Tabitha has accepted a position in the cardiac telemetry unit at Asperus Hospital in Wausau, Wisconsin. Michaela Weiss. Michaela would like to thank her family, friends, and boyfriend for being supportive, encouraging, and inspirational. Her journey would not be complete without you all. She has accepted a position with Select Specialty Hospital in Sioux Falls. Taryn Wilbur. Taryn would like to thank her friends and family for the constant love and support while completing nursing school. Taryn has accepted a position in the intensive treatment unit at the South Dakota Human Services Center in Yankton, South Dakota. Taryn is the recipient of the Mary Adams Award for Brookings. Congratulations, Taryn. Congratulations to all of our Brookings Standard Option graduates. 
Our final group of graduates has completed the standard option Bachelor of Science program at our Rapid City site. Hannah Bauer. Hannah would like to thank her amazing family, friends, classmates, and professors who encouraged and supported her throughout this journey. Hannah will begin her career on the intensive care unit at Monument Health in Rapid City. Anna Bellingary. Anna would like to thank her family, friends, classmates, and teachers for all the help and encouragement they provided during nursing school. Anna plans to begin her career in Omaha in the medical surgical specialty. Jessica Christensen. Jessica would like to thank the countless hours her family has given to support her through her midlife change of profession. She feels in a way that this degree is almost as much theirs as it is hers and that she simply could not have done this without them. Jessica is the recipient of the Rapid City Commitment to Caring Award. Congratulations, Jessica. Crystal Clark. Crystal expresses her gratitude for the support, love and encouragement of her family and friends. She would like to specifically thank her husband, William, and her sons, Ethan and Trevor, for being the best motivation to accomplish this dream. Crystal will be joining a residency program in surgical services with Christus Health in Shreveport, Louisiana. Brandon Davidson. Brandon would like to thank his instructors and classmates for such a kind journey. He would also like to thank his mother for all the love and support she has given him throughout his whole life. Hallie Dobler. Hallie is so thankful for the great examples of nurses that she finds in her mother and grandmother. Thankful for a husband whose love and encouragement never run dry. Thankful for the forever friends that nursing school has given her. And thankful for a God that always shows up. Hallie plans to begin her nursing career with Monument Health in Rapid City on the intensive care unit. Grace Dorn. Grace would like to thank her family and friends for supporting her throughout her education. She is very excited to start her nursing career at Monument Health Hemodialysis Clinic in Rapid City. Brandon Dumdi. Brandon would like to thank his wife and children, his family and friends for their support while pursuing his goal of becoming a registered nurse. Marissa Imers. Marissa would like to thank her family and friends for their support throughout nursing school. Marissa plans to work in oncology after graduation and the NCLEX exam. Vanessa Gomez Bedoja. Vanessa would like to thank her mom for providing clarity when she could not see and her dad for always encouraging her. She would also like to thank her brother, Ethan, for helping her dance the stress away and her sister, Carmen, for making her smile and laugh. Vanessa will begin her career with Monument Health in Rapid City as an RN in the float pool. Kendra Gronawig. Kendra would like to thank her parents, Dan and Kelly Gronawig. She never would have made it this far without their support and encouragement. She would also like to thank her brother, Alex Gronawig, and brother-in-law, Nate Harris, for their limitless emotional support and reassurance. Kendra has accepted a position with the Heart and Vascular Unit at Monument Health Hospital in Rapid City. Brianna Hafner. Brianna would like to thank her family and friends for supporting her through this unexpectedly long process. She would especially like to thank her husband, Drew, and new baby, Cooper, for encouraging her to achieve her goals and follow her dreams. Kathleen Hupp. Kathleen would like to thank her son, Riker, and husband, Ryan, for believing in her and for sacrificing so much to make her dreams come true. She also dedicates her success to her parents. She plans on applying for a position in oncology or medical surgical care at Monument Health in Rapid City. Kelly Kyes. Kelly would first like to thank her husband and three daughters for putting up with her, for supporting her during meltdowns, to helping around the house. 
More than once, they believed in her when she didn't believe in herself. She would like to thank the amazing SDSU instructors, her friends Jody and Melanie, for always cheering her on, and last but not least, her awesome classmates who never made her feel old. Kelly will begin her career on the Med Surge Unit at Monument Health in Deadwood. Kelly is the recipient of the Rapid City Valor Award. Congratulations, Kelly. Brenna Cress. Brenna would like to thank her family and friends for all the support that they gave to her while completing her education towards her dream of becoming a nurse. Brenna looks forward to beginning her career in the nursing field. Brenna has accepted a position in the Cardiac Neuro Intermediate Care Unit in Gainesville, Florida. Crystal Qualheim. Crystal would like to thank her family and friends for the never ending support they have provided her over the years. She is interested in working in behavioral health in Sioux Falls after graduation. She wishes everyone luck in their future careers. Madeline Logue. Madeline would like to thank the SDSU Alumni Association for funding the scholarship that funded her schooling. She would also like to thank her family, friends, and peers for the constant love and support that got her to this day. Madeline will be working at Monument Health, Rapid City, and the ICU. Taylor Nunn. Taylor would like to thank her family and friends for all their love, support, and guidance throughout this journey. She cherishes the close friendship she has created and will always remember these moments from nursing school, which brought them all together. Bryce Olson. Bryce would like to thank his mother, father, and sister for all their support, as well as his friends and cohort for working together and supporting one another. Bryce is currently applying for jobs in Minnesota. Caitlin Oster. Caitlin would like to thank her very patient parents for their continued support throughout this very long process and for being the best roommate she's ever had. She would also like to thank her friends and cohort for getting her through nursing school, even though she attempted to be a constant distraction. Caitlin has plans to move to Gainesville, Florida and pursue a nursing career at the University of Florida Shands Hospital. Christy Palmer. Christy would like to thank her husband, Tim Palmer, along with her parents and grandparents for supporting her throughout nursing school. Christy is so honored to be supported with loving family and friends. Christy wants to thank her classmates, faculty, and instructors for being amazing during these last two and a half years and hopes that she will see them again in the working field. Christy hopes to get a job at Monument Health Rapid City Hospital. Sydney Peterson. Sydney would like to thank all her family and friends that have remained by her side through this chapter in her life. She cannot thank you enough for the continued love and support you have shown her. Andrew Resick. Andrew would like to recognize the people in his life that played a prominent role in guiding him to this moment of graduation. From his parents, Steve, Dee, Linda, and Keith, to his close friends, Bryce, Madeline, and Eden, and the entire STSU nursing faculty. He would like to express his immense and humble gratitude towards these individuals for being steadfast in their presence for him along every step of this journey. Erin Richard. Erin would like to thank her family for being supportive over the last few years of late nights and early mornings. She is very grateful to her parents who had freshly made coffee already ready for her at 5 a.m. for early morning clinicals. Erin plans on pursuing a career as a NICU nurse after graduation. Monica Ruiz. Monica would like to thank Amanda, Jackson, and Thomas for always providing motivation, support, and guidance throughout her educational career. She plans to take a position as a perioperative nurse in the post anesthesia care unit where she has found her passion for caring. Jessica Ryan. Jessica would like to thank her family and friends who helped her through this journey. She is thankful for all the wonderful friends nursing school has brought her. She has accepted a position in the float pool department at Monument Health, Rapid City. Nothing can dim the light that shines from within. 
Maya Angelou. Ashley Sandage. Ashley would like to thank her parents, Blaine and Lisa, as well as her boyfriend, Austin, and the many other family and friends who supported her on this journey. Ashley has accepted a position at Monument Health Orthopedics and Specialty Hospital in Rapid City in the Medical Surgical Department. Hannah Scala. Hannah would like to thank her family, three dogs, and husband Glenn for being supportive and offering guidance, stress relief, and an ear to talk off. Hannah will begin her career with the labor and delivery unit at Monument Health in Rapid City. Hannah is the recipient of the Mary Adams Award at the Rapid City site. Congratulations, Hannah. Michael Smith. Michael would like to thank his mother, Lori Bale, for teaching him to work hard and never give up. He would also like to thank his best friend, Vanessa Gomez Badoja, for studying with him through five semesters of nursing school. Jacqueline Stangel. Jacqueline would like to thank her family and friends for all their love and support through these last few years. She could not imagine making it through her nursing school journey without them. She is excited to announce that she has accepted a job at Prairie Lakes Hospital in Watertown, South Dakota on CCU. Jacqueline is the recipient of the Rapid City Student Nurses Association Management Award. Congratulations, Jacqueline. Crystal Stevenson. Crystal would like to thank her family for all the support and encouragement. Thank you to her husband, John, and son, Dawson, for the sacrifices they have made to help her pursue her dream career. Crystal will begin her career with the Rapid City Medical Center. Brenna Sundby. Brenna would like to thank her parents and family near and far for their support throughout her time in nursing school. She would also like to thank all her classmates for the endless laughs, memories, and their support throughout these last five semesters. She would also like to thank her numerous instructors that taught her everything she needs to know. Brenna will be pursuing a career at Monument Health Rapid City Hospital in the Heart and Vascular Unit. Tia Tiller. Tia would like to thank her family and friends for all of their support during this challenging yet wonderful adventure. Without all of you, this would never have been possible. She plans on working at Monument Health Rapid City Hospital in the float pool after graduation. Emily Trichka. Emily would like to thank her family and friends for all the love and support they shared while completing nursing school. She would also like to thank the teachers and staff for all that they do. Emily will be moving back to Minnesota where she will pursue her nursing career. Scott Walton. Scott would like to thank his family, friends, and coworkers for their support while completing the nursing major. He hopes to get a job in a surgical area of a hospital after graduation. Paige Werner. Paige would like to thank her parents for their continual encouragement and support and her friends for making nursing school a thousand times better. Paige plans to work in hospice. Paige is the recipient of the Academic Excellence Award for Rapid City. Congratulations, Paige. Todd Willen. Todd would like to thank his parents, family and friends for their love and support during nursing school. Congratulations to all of our Fall 2020 Rapid City Standard Option graduates. Thank you for joining us to celebrate the achievements of our graduates from the College of Nursing at South Dakota State University.